You know, there's always plenty of New York City nonsense going on at all times. After all, it's the expected stage for the new world order. If New York City does it, of course everyone else can follow, starting with congestion pricing. The MTA offered its first look into how much drivers could pay to enter Manhattan south of 61st Street under the agency's congestion pricing plan under development. The cost, $9 to $23 for drivers with Easy Pass and $14 to $35 without Easy Pass. Now, back when I was bartending five or six years ago, I remember I was worried about this because I commuted to the city by car. And since I don't work in the city anymore, and even so, I go down a few days a month, this price wouldn't be that big of a deal to me. However, after realizing that, I understood this is solely meant to hurt low to median wage workers. You know, 10 to 20 bucks is peanuts for the rich sociopaths that create these laws, so they don't care. The only people that are going to have an issue paying that congestion price are the working class, which they simply don't want driving in the city, especially on like the weekends. The thousands of Uber vehicles and taxis aren't penalized because the rich people use those services. I mean, what options do you have if you are now paying an additional 5-10% of your daily wage to get to work? You could take public transit, which might be cheaper, but it takes me two hours to get to the city by train as opposed to 45 minutes by car. And that's the case with most of these people. You could relocate to the city, which they definitely can't afford to do if they have a family as you need a larger space or you could exit the highway before the toll and that was my main concern the congestion pricing applies to people who enter manhattan south of 61st street so if i wasn't too well off you know why wouldn't i get off and then take the bike or subway to save a few dollars that might be precisely what they want but it's going to cause unbearable amounts of traffic entering and leaving the city. It might reduce congestion in the city itself, forcing people to take public transit, but you might as well be landlocked during rush hour if everyone is parking from 60th to 80th Street and trying to avoid these congestion tolls. It's gonna to be an absolute shit show because you won't be able to leave the city but that could be what they want. They might want that amount of traffic. I mean, I honestly can't imagine this going through and that not happening. Like, it's gonna be horrible. You stupid authority, and you think you some shit, and there's people out here and got no motherfucking food. How dare you? How dare both of y'all say some shit like that? There's people out here and got no fucking food. But y'all don't even the motherfucking garbage. How fucking dare you? So that happened on Friday, and what was crazy to me were the shill comments online of people defending the throwing out of that food, libtard cucks licking the government's feet so they can get their stimulus check handout to pay for their estrogen tablets. The real people have some common sense. A missing license doesn't mean the food is bad. It's a business thing, not a sanitation issue. To throw all this food away in a city with people going hungry should be a punishable offense. People aren't hungry because the U.S. lacks food. They're hungry because of the economic and political system that allows it. You know, this is probably them, the powers that be, telling us if we allow them to control our food system, this is what they will do with it. Is this like a, a predictive programming, a warning? that we're gonna start throwing out food because it's not fit for consumption. I mean, I could do a video on food waste itself and how much gets thrown out, but it's like an obedience ritual to anyone witnessing the event. And these evil scumbags in charge are very serious about their money. This is the government telling you, if you don't pay up, if you don't get your license or permits needed, if you don't listen to us, we're going to fine you, set an example of you. If you're not in the club and you set up a business, they will run you out. 
There is no such thing as friendly competition with these scumbags. They will steal your business ideas, censor your social media, even try slanderous campaigns against you, all of which I've personally experienced. It's, it's absolutely disgusting and despicable, and all of these people deserve to be lined up in front of a ditch. Uh, so uh, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this. Uh, you can drop a like on the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions or input. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank-stefano.com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.